Hi there and welcome back. Let's talk about scope camera mounts today. Today we all want to show the most incredible shot we ever took on a pest control job or the most incredible group we ever shot on paper and shared on Instagram and Facebook. I also always wanted to do this so I always have tried to create mine myself and save some bucks. As you can see still with the GoPro Hero 3, 3D printed plastic, a beam splitter cube inside that I have salvaged from an angle side on the internet. But the quality of this is still not on par with the guns and scopes that I'm using these days. So I've put all this to the side and thought it was time to invest some money in a more quality item. The camera mount system that I chose is one from Eagle Vision for the GoPro Hero. I bought mine at Kralos Heatsport. They recently started selling these items of Eagle Vision. So if you're interested in this, go check out their website. I'll put the link down in the description below. When you order your kit, it comes in this nice hard case and that you can use afterwards to store your investment. So let's open the box and see what you get inside. So when you open the box, you can still see it still has to be assembled because it's a very versatile and modular system, but it's a piece of cake to put together and I'll show you later on how. The first thing you find in the box is the universal scope clamp that you can put on the eyeball of your scope and by tightening it, it clamps down on your scope and it fits a wide variety of scopes. The second part you find is the lens system itself and you have two different kinds in this one. For example, this one is a 25-75, meaning 25% 25 of the light will travel through to your eye and 75% of the light will travel to the camera. You also have this in 50-50, just what you prefer. I chose for this to get a little bit more better image quality to the camera. Then. You find yourself a GoPro cage. This one will fit the GoPro 5, 6 and 7, but I believe they also make them for the GoPro Hero 3 and 4. All nicely made out of machined aluminum. So very durable and high quality. You get some spacer rings. If your camera has to be slide out a little bit more to get a better image quality, you can always experiment with this. You get a little bag with an allen key, some grub screws to assemble everything and last but not least you get yourself a ring that attaches to the end of the lens system and this nice rubber eyepiece to put around it so you can put your eye against it. Assembling it could have been easier, as I mentioned before. It's well thought out, well machined, so it all fits together pretty easily. You take your lens system, and as you can see, 25% goes to the eye, 75% goes to the camera. Your scope comes on this end, so you take your universal adapter, screw it on just like this. Take your eyepiece, that screw screws on on this side. Just like this, you can always turn your eyepiece around to the orientation you like, very easy. Then I will start with one ring. As I mentioned, you can always use another one if you need to extend it a bit more to get a better eye picture or camera picture. Screw it in on this side, take your camera housing or your GoPro cage, put it on like this, take some of those tiny grub screws, put it in like this, there are three like this.
don't put them too tight you can always adjust the orientation so you get a nice level picture and it's easy as that to assemble one important note before you can start using your eagle vision uh, camera mount system is that you will have to upgrade the lens on your gopro to work with this system with the original lens it just doesn't work the original lens is a wide angle fisheye lens and it doesn't cope well with these kind of systems eagle vision has a lens on their website that's a one-on-one -on -one replacement for the GoPro that you intend to use. Replacing the lens is very easy. I believe they even have a video on their website and many other ones on YouTube and the rest of the internet. The only downside to the lens is that the original protection cover doesn't fit anymore on the GoPro. So as you can see, I took the glass out of mine, I printed a little adapter, glued it in, and now it doesn't look that awkward without the protection cover. Once you replace your lens, Slide open the back door, take your GoPro, drop it in just like this, put the door back on and now you're ready to mount it to your scope. Mounting the Eagle Vision camera system to any scope is very easy and very simple. In this example I'll be using my Element Nexus, very nice scope. Take your scope cam adapter, make sure the universal adapter is open, slide it on just like this, tighten the ring and it's very secure to your scope. So as you can see it can be mounted or removed in just a matter of few seconds. Now that your uh, Eagle Vision camera mount system is connected to your scope it's time to adjust it and make a proper crisp eye picture. So I don't know if you can see but it's a little bit hazy and blurry around the edges and when I slide it in or out the edges become more crisp as you can see. So remembering those rings we had in the beginning take an extra one And just by adding an extra one, you can see the edges become more crisp. Next thing you gotta do is make the reticle nice and crisp to the camera. The way to do this, take your camera out, turn the lens a little bit counterclockwise or a little bit more clockwise, and it's a matter of trial and error until you see that your reticle is nice and crisp to the camera.
Now that everything is adjusted like it should and we have a crisp image, it's time to go out and shoot it. Capture those amazing moments, share them on Instagram and Facebook and make some nice videos for you guys. High quality product by Eagle Vision. I recommend to check them out if you're in the market for one. I thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe and see you back next time. Bye.